The following news segment is produced for MTN by the Western Ag Network. Now, here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Hi everybody, it's time for your farm and ranch news. Well, recognizing extraordinary achievement in voluntary conservation, while inspiring other landowners through examples and helping the general public understand the vital role private landowners play in conservation success. These are the pillars of the Leopold Conservation Award and the 2022 honors were awarded Tuesday at the Montana Farm Bureau Federation's annual convention in Missoula. And with more, here's our network's Haley Ship. Pete and Megan Lannon are innovative ranchers who found a way to raise beef cattle amid exorbitant land values in Montana's Paradise Valley. As owners of Barney Creek Livestock, they became land managers who show others how conservation can heal landscapes. What we really started to fall in love with was the realization that we don't, we're just here for a short time and we want this, we want the land to last forever, whether or not our kids are here or somebody else. We never owned it in the first place, we're just here for a short time, but really paying attention to the soil health, which comes up through the grass, which comes up through the animal, which eventually ends up on somebody's plate. But treating that as an entire system and the realization that we are a part of that system, not separate from it. Landowners have noted an influx of birds and pastures grazed by Barney Creek livestock, lending credence to the adage that what's good for the herd is good for the bird. From Missoula, I'm Haley Ship. All right, thanks a lot, Haley. And it's certainly a lot more than just grazing. Their lessers also learn about the nutrient cycling machine that is livestock. Again, congratulations to Megan and Pete Lannon, this year's Montana Leopold Conservation Award winners out of Livingston. Again, the Montana Farm Bureau Federation's annual convention runs through Thursday there in Missoula. And for more information, you can visit mfbf.org or check out their Facebook page. Stay with us, we'll have more Ag News right after this.